Military officials have not disclosed how many sailors off the USS Roosevelt have tested positive for COVID-19. But Rear Admiral John Manoni this afternoon did confirm that they will not have to stay aboard the aircraft carrier. They're being placed in isolation in single rooms with their own private bathrooms on Naval Base Guam, and they're being monitored daily, he said. There is no contact at any time, whether it is between the medical professionals that are doing those evaluations or even the folks that come by to, to drop off uh, food for them. There's no interaction, no contact uh, in accordance with the standard social distancing guidelines that, that we're all observing. Thanks for the question, Kevin. So the positive, the sailors who test positive are in isolation on base, not on the Roosevelt. Is that correct? That is correct. The governor said she is aware of the reservations raised by some in the community over allowing sailors who test negative to quarantine off base and those testing positive to remain in isolation on base. I know there will be a small chorus of cynics who will oppose this decision, but now is not the time for us versus them. While there are sailors on board that ship from every corner of the nation, some of those sailors call Guam home. Meanwhile, as the island-wide shutdown and social distancing mandates remain in place until April 13th and possibly longer, island residents are increasingly clamoring for relief. $111 million in discretionary funding is pending, and as much as $930 in weekly unemployment benefits await. But both are still weeks away. With the $111 million, um, we are working closely with the U.S. Treasury. And uh, the, the law says that after we become certified, so we have to give them a, a plan that they will certify. And once that's certified, I think within 30 days, we can see the funds uh, coming in, coming in. As far as the pandemic uh, unemployment benefit, when we get the program and the processes in place, which we are working very uh, diligently to have, we would be able then to get the funds. And so, you know, I don't have a specific date, but I'm anticipating, I'm anticipating uh, within the next couple of weeks 